Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting into something really cool, teaching about artificial intelligence and social work. I'm going to share a teaching design that you can use with your learners, whether they are qualifying or qualified social workers. This design is based on a one hour learning session. I've used it to help social workers begin to think about how they can use AI responsibly and ethically. Whilst I've based it on a one hour session, please do amend the approaches that I suggest for your own circumstances. So in this teaching design, I encourage learners to use Google's Gemini AI tool to make things more interactive and fun. Make sure that your learners are encouraged to bring their internet enabled devices like laptops, phones, tablets, etc. so that they can use them with Google Gemini in the session. To introduce the session, I would use a hook to grab the attention of the learners. To set the context, I would begin by saying something like, imagine an AI that can help to predict child neglect by analyzing case files and identifying patterns that humans might miss. Imagine an AI that can help personalize treatment plans for mental health clients based on their individual needs and history. Or even imagine an AI that can connect people to vital resources like housing or food banks cutting through bureaucratic red tape. This isn't science fiction, it's the potential of artificial intelligence or AI in social work. I would then move on to talk briefly about AI in various industries to set the context. I would point out that AI is already being used in healthcare, finance and transportation and having a transformative impact. For instance, AI is being used in healthcare to diagnose diseases and develop new treatments. In finance, AI is used to detect fraud and make investment decisions. And in transportation, AI is being used to power self-driving cars. For AI in social work, I would acknowledge that its focus on human well-being and social justice can benefit from AI's capabilities, but only if it's used thoughtfully and ethically. AI can help social workers become more efficient, effective, and equitable in their service delivery. For example, AI could be used to automate administrative tasks, freeing up social workers to spend more time with their clients. AI could also be used to identify individuals who are at risk of falling through the cracks and provide them with targeted support. I would then introduce the learners to an academic article that forms the basis of this teaching. This article is entitled Considering a Unified Model of Artificial Intelligence Enhanced Social Work. I would explain that this is a systematic review of existing research that explores the possibilities and risks of AI in social work. I would use this article and Google's AI tool Gemini to explore the topic in the following interactive way. The first activity would be roughly about 20 minutes and look at the possibilities and risks of using AI in social work. I always find that it's better for learners to break up into small groups to learn from each other. So I would divide the learners into small groups of three or four, ensuring a mix of learning styles and perspectives. I would then explain the following task clearly. We would look at exploring the benefits first. Using Google Gemini, each group needs to find and describe three potential benefits of using AI in social work. I'd encourage them to look for specific examples. The learners can refer to the pages in the article where the benefits of AI across the profession, social agency and client levels are discussed. For example, AI can support decision making and allow information to be shared between agencies. Similarly, I would ask each group to identify three potential risks associated with AI in social work again asking them for detailed examples. I'd encourage learners to refer to the pages which cover potential risks associated with AI in the article. For example, dehumanization of clients and insufficient research into the use of AI in social work. Then I would encourage them to use Gemini and go beyond the article to explore what Gemini AI comes up with. To do this, I'd ask them to search Gemini to find recent news articles, case studies, or reports about AI in social work looking to broaden their understanding of the topic. I'd then ask the students to use the research tools within Gemini to look at summarizing the information they found using a question and answer type approach and to fact check the information that they've been provided in this topic. Then we'd move on to a discussion in terms of sharing and debate. Presentation structure. I would then ask each group of learners to present one benefit and one risk highlighting key findings and any differences in their group's perspectives. 
And this can always be fun because looking at different perspectives in the groups encourages real discussion, debate and learning. I would make sure I prepare some facilitation prompts. Prompts like, well, for example, comparison. How do the benefits and risks you've identified relate to the core values and principles of social work? For example, how can we ensure that the use of AI in social work does not violate the privacy and confidentiality of clients? Ethics. What ethical concerns arise when we consider using AI to make decisions that impact people's lives? For example, we can explore this topic by saying, well, how can we ensure that AI systems are not biased against certain groups of people? Social justice. We could explore social justice. Could AI perpetuate existing biases and inequalities in social work practice? How can we mitigate this risk? To prompt further discussion, for example, we can pose questions such as, well, how can we ensure that AI systems are designed and used in a way that promotes equity and inclusion? Human AI balance. How can we strike a balance between human interaction and technological intervention in social work? What role should AI play? and what roles should be reserved for human social workers. For example, as a social work educator, I would argue that AI could be used to help social workers identify clients who are at risk of homelessness, but the decision of whether or not to provide assistance should ultimately be made by a human social worker. I would then present the unified model for artificial intelligence enhanced social work from the article. I would explain its key components, the client mandate, the profession mandate and the social agency mandate. I would point out that this model emphasises that professionals should prioritise the well-being and best interests of their clients, upholding the ethical standards of their profession and supporting the mission of their agencies. Have each group of learners choose a specific area of social work practice like child welfare, mental health, elderly care or criminal justice? Using Gemini's creative writing features, ask each group to develop a hypothetical case study demonstrating how AI could be used within their chosen area. The case study should present a realistic scenario where an AI tool or system is being implemented. For example, a scenario could involve an AI chatbot that provides mental health support to clients in rural areas who have limited access to in-person services. Another scenario could involve an AI system that helps social workers identify children who are at risk of abuse and neglect. Encourage students to consider the specific AI tool or system being used, how the AI tool interacts with social workers, clients and the agency, the potential benefits, challenges and ethical implications. At the end of the teaching session, I would summarise the key concepts discussed like the potential of AI, associated risks, ethical considerations and the unified model. I would emphasise the importance of staying informed about AI advancements and the ethical debates within the social work field. I'd encourage the learners to subscribe to journals such as the British Journal of Social Work, Child and Family Social Work and the Journal of Human Rights and Social Work, which are all cited in the sources. I'd encourage the learners to think critically about the role of AI in shaping the future of social work. I'd also provide links or suggestions for further exploration. These links could include, for example, the International Federation of Social Workers website for ethical guidelines, the Grand Challenges for Social Work initiative for cutting-edge research, organisations focusing on AI ethics in healthcare and social services. And finally, I'd get the learners to write down at least three learning points that they will take away from today's session. I hope this teaching and learning design has been helpful. As educators, I would encourage you to motivate your learners to embrace and ethically use AI as a tool for positive social change. Remind them that if they have this knowledge, they have the power to shape how AI is used in social work. So I've shared this teaching plan for a one hour session balancing theoretical concepts from the article mentioned with the practical applications in terms of using a tool like Google Gemini in class. Do adjust the timings and the activities based on your students' needs and learning pace. I've also provided a link below to this really insightful article and I would encourage you to read it and apply its messages in your teaching and practice. Well, that's the end of this video and as always, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this topic. Do leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the video and the article. If you found this video helpful, 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.